Hi friends, it's Brittany at Ingot Papyrus and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today is the day we do a flip through of this beautiful spring journal I've been working on, Home for a Bunny, and I am so excited to show you what's inside. So let's light our bunny candle for ambiance and get to the flip through. Oh my gosh, this smells so heavenly. It is pistachio or chocolate bunny scented candle. Actually, I think um, Bath and Body Works made another um, Easter candle once that was scented pistachio. No, this is chocolate and it is phenomenal smelling. So guys, this journal is all about happiness and bright colors and whimsical themes and just things to make someone happy. So this is actually the first little golden book journal I've ever made. I came into a stash of them recently and I figured what the heck, I gotta do something with these. These are so cute. So I deconstructed this because obviously you, the little golden book, um, little spine isn't gonna be adequate for a chunky monkey like this. So if you wanna see me deconstruct the cover and um, make this beaded spine and bind the signatures in, I will include those videos above and in the description box. All right, so let's get started. The closure here is just an eyelet with some trim uh, knotted and tied. I have some book corners. I have some applique going down the side here, some applique going down the side here, and hot glued these adorable little butterflies to the back. All right, so this is, like I said, filled with bright colors and happiness. I put a little, like, book, um, little, like, index card book tab thing down at the bottom here. Um, I just glued it so it was a pocket. Um, I took that out of a magazine just to signify the, uh, month. I found a magazine that just says March 2024, volume 102, number 3 three so I thought that was cool I like to include a little something in each of my journals just um, specifying like around the time that I made the journal so I could see where I was in my journal making journey and I used some really really cute little bunny digital images um, I found these in the shape of hearts cut them out and then otherwise I left the little golden book journal cover as is because I wanted to kind of keep the integrity of it because they're such a cool cute little nostalgic thing for the back of this I actually took the pages of the little golden book and glued one of the pages of the bunny in this is the DIY washi tape that I made I will include the link to that video as well and um, glued the top and the bottom just to make it a little into a little pocket to um, keep these little digital image specimen cards <clears throat> All right, so let's start from the, from scratch, from the top. These are some of the spring jelly prints that I did. I also have a video for that. So I'm sorry, it's probably really annoying to say I, I after every sentence, it's I will include the video for that. Any related videos, I will try and point out, and I will include the link in the description box. These are some cute little um, cards I made with. Uh, from scraps from old jelly prints I made, some faux stamps, and some fabric above. So simple. And put some wording on the back. And the pocket says, find joy in every new day. This was a jelly print using a stencil, and I just took watercolors and painted in the butterfly, because um, I didn't think the white um, of the butterfly really stood out. So I thought, oh, well, I'll fill this in and make that butterfly pop. Okay, so in this journal, I really tried to do some more journaling, some more writing, not be intimidated, and just let go of perfection and preconceived notions about what this journal had to be like. Um, these are some magazine images, digital images, um, and I just, this was, uh, again, the beginnings of a jelly print that went poorly. Uh, I didn't transfer the print like I wanted, so I just made it into something else. I cut this flower out of this book that I got from my, I think my local thrift store, and this book has served me so well. The images and the text are beautiful. 
Go to your local thrift store, guys. There is so much lurking around, especially in the book section. You really don't even need to buy digital images, I'm telling you. Just go to your local thrift section and look in the book section, um, and you will be astounded at what you'd find. <coughs> a little corner cluster with a bee. Um, that was a jelly print stencil. And some... I think I was going to make these into postcards. They're just digital images right now. And I did some stenciling behind this jelly print pocket and sewed the pocket. Oh, I love this page. So this is one of my digital images. And I used him to make a little tuck spot and sewed in my brother machine on um, this like little leaf pattern stitch that I have postage stamp there some extra journaling room so if you're um shy about like your handwriting or you kind of want to keep the handwriting tucked away like putting things on little tuck spots and journaling on them i think is a great way to do that and to practice journaling and doodling and stuff in your journal without feeling like oh my gosh i just ruined a page if you don't like how it turned out you could just start over these are also little digital image tuck spots Okay, this is a jelly print I absolutely loved. Um, this was uh, the jelly print done from my hot glue stencils. And I used very like pastel blues and pinks. And I thought this digital image worked perfectly. So I put it onto some trim, some applique um, page trim. And made him into a little tuck spot button uh, over a bow. And a little bird nest. Um, I love taking applique and lace and taking these little um, pins and just putting beads on them. I think that's a perfect way to spruce up your signatures. This is dyed applique. This is the same exact applique as this. However, I just took some Distress Oxide, sprayed it. This is again a digital, I'm sorry, this is uh, a jelly print. And I just sewed some pretty flower images from a book onto the back of paper. So again, like very simple concepts, but um, beautiful results. This is like a little cluster slash note um, flip up, I guess you'd say. I love this digital image printable, so I just left it as is. I love flips and tucks and this is how I like to incorporate pages that wouldn't otherwise fit in the journal. I didn't want to alter these little golden book pages because I thought they were so cute. So I was like, okay, I'll just make a fold out and I just glued this to the back of this page and then fold it so it folds out and secure the inside with some washi. Um, this is the video I did upcycling seed catalogs. Just a little bookmark I made from seed catalogs. I thought the bunnies would appreciate the little snacks. And I guess I just put a word there. But oh, I just thought this was really cute. It says in the spring, in the spring, a bunny came down the road. He was going to find a home of his own, a home for a bunny, a home of his own under a rock, under a stone, under a log, or under the ground. Where would the bunny find a home? So that kind of prefaces the whole journal, what the whole journal is about. And I kind of like it when the journal tells a story. So here's my fold out. Um, I guess I just put a. So this is a digital uh, printable of like a coin envelope but obviously coin envelopes or the envelope as this was wasn't going to lay flat in the journal so i was like okay well, i'll just make it into a flip up i won't do any of the folding i put some like netting behind him for some texture and made two pockets i painted those um little wild flowers and you'll see i did a lot of painting uh in this journal um, because I just have really started to play with watercolors and they make me happy and I really just I have so much work to do with my painting skills um, but I just I don't know it's one of the th techniques that I want to explore and get better at <clears throat> I painted these eggs 
and I found some quotes about spring and I thought this fabric kind of looked like eggs, like speckled eggs, so I made it the page tab and I literally just painted circular shapes and decorated them. These are little flip ups. I stickled the bottom and secured the tape with washi, or secured the top with washi tape and just put a safety pin on top. This is a cute little pocket. I took fabric, I cut out a heart and um, sewed some like different style applique inside. And you can see that. It's like very shimmery and pretty. Here's a little notebook I made. I have been loving mini notebooks. Um, I did a little journaling inside. I have more journaling to do. But these are a great way to bust through scraps. These are the whimsical watercolor doodles I was making. Um, and I will share that in the description box as well. But I love just... I wasn't sure what to do with this blank page, so I just started coming in with watercolors and making like the sky and the ground, and then I, I cut out all the watercolor jewels that I have. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces of ephemera to mass make. Um, and I just started laying them down for decoration's sake. And if you've never made these, I'm telling you, they are magical. They might not look like anything special when you first start painting, but once you let the paint dry and you're just loosely painting a relative shape and then once you let it dry and you actually doodle in the detail I'm telling you these are just they are so fabulous and they don't need to be perfect whimsical is the theme and so on this page I included some watercolor doodles and just put on there some things that I enjoy and back it with washi tape some of the things that make me happy. <clears throat> this is from Upcycled Seed Catalogs. Um, this flower image, and she came from a digital image. And I went around her with some really bright pink um, watercolor paint, just to emphasize this. And went around this with more watercolor, and I love this. So this is just a little tuck spot. And I took a um, piece of paper and sewed this image all around and outlined this with washi. And I made another little mini journal and put some pretty images inside. Outlined it with Stabilo pencil. And I just wanted some more journaling room um, in a place that was going to be a little bit more secretive. Top, bottom, the fabric uh, tucks. Um, this was the beginning of a jelly print, and then I painted the birds over top and did a little decorating inside. This is another jelly print, and I just took another jelly print, and same thing. I just glued the edge to this page and made the same flip up. These are from my upcycled seed catalogs again. I made stamps out of them. I love that. Maybe we'll make a dedicated video for for cool ways to make faux stamps. This is a little tuck spot for a bookmark. And I made it just by gluing down three um, little sentiments here. And the bookmark slides in and out. <clears throat> okay. This is also... These are done from upcycled seed catalogs. I found this in a thrift store. So this is an altered paper clip I made from an image I got from a seed catalog, strawberries. And I made this whole layout because I found the strawberry shortcake um, pamphlet and I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to cut this up. So this is from obviously this is primer um <clears throat> uh primer like a uh, box that it came in. Um, so I cut that up. I made a page tab out of the top of the box. So sometimes just really simple um, packaging that you have that you come across in day-to-day -day life can really make some cool ephemera. And I just cut out some strawberries from a seed catalog, um, painted some more watercolors, found the word strawberry, 
decorated this with buttons. And yeah, I had to find a home for my strawberry shortcake. And then I just, this is the closure for the little booklet. And I put some really cute little child-ish beads on. And I thought she looked like strawberry shortcake, so I had to use her. So yeah. So I did some journaling. I, this was, I tried to paint some strawberries and they turned out really bad. So I put this in a tuck spot so no one has to see. And um, I journaled about how strawberries actually came about in France. And I found this online. So if you don't know what to write about, just look up a topic and just start journaling about it. And that's a great way to break a blank page. Another jelly print. A little uh, fabric cluster I made, and I did do a video on this, and I will put that in the description box. I weaved around the page with just some thread, and then I love this. And so this was a jelly print, a floral jelly print, and I found a digital image that says, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? And I cut out some fabric uh, flowers and just made stems out of just string. Um, and here's there is poetry among the wildflowers. Okay, this I love. This was a dual specimen card and envelope pocket, and um, I put my journaling cards up top. In the way I uh, made this, I actually glued this so you have a pocket up top, and then a pocket here, and then. And see how pretty the specimen card is with the floral elements. They're real dried flowers. I secured them with washi tape and backed this with lace and applique and then stenciled around. And I basically sewed a little pocket from this envelope. And then I sewed a piece of lace on. So this actually makes another little pocket. Yes, I love this. This was a digital image and I didn't think it was bright enough so I just went ahead and I painted those mushrooms. More watercolors, more fairies, washi, a tag. I think flip ups and bright colors and watercolor paints were like the theme of this journal. I made this with just a little digital image and eyelets and just wrapped this around with the embroidery floss and made a tuck for some papers here. One is like a really pretty garden book page I didn't want to cut up. More watercolor doodles. Another watercolor doodle. So this way I could decorate the page up a little bit more, but I didn't have to alter. I didn't want to cut up the page. And look, more naughty bunnies inside. Um, just painted um, little flowers. And these are watercolor doodles. Uh, a quote so be yourself everyone else is already taken and that is some sage advice that's that jelly print I was telling you about these are specimen cards I made video is in the description box um, I will hint to you these are specimen cards I made without any measuring or any fuss they are the fastest specimen cards I have ever made and I love how they turned out and I made these with paper punches instead of measuring and cutting and it was delightful. This is watercolor paper that I embossed and watercolor painted over and then I took some vellum and ran it through my die cutter machine and got these beauties and glued them on. More faux stamps from seed catalogs. 
um, these are from that uh, floral book I was telling you about and just fussy cut them watercolor doodles more uh, more die cut vellum and just put some words over it this is just embroidered paper embroidered I'm sorry embossed paper these are the watercolor doodle buttons that I made and I love them this is a tri-fold scrappy notebook so easy you're simply folding paper one two times over itself and I just stapled some embossed vellum in different scraps layered scraps it does add bulk but it's a great way to um, have some hidden journaling space it's a great way to bust through scraps it's a great way to add texture and um, yeah I just enjoyed making this another altered paper clip I simply just made this out of um, some ribbon another fabric cluster I didn't know what to do with this page so I just opened my garden book and cut out some different floral arrangements and just watercolor doodled around it this is an altered paper clip from the seed catalog and I love this ephemera and I thought it was so perfect because I made this one about a bunny gnawing on carrots from the garden. This is stuck. And I made those little, have you ever seen those little tea cards? Little like, they usually say like, I don't know, they say different things on them but they're like tea cards. Maybe I'll, oof, that's what happens when you don't wait for your glue to dry. Oh no. I'll have to get that out later. I'm worried I'm gonna rip something. But I made the little carrot tea cards. And I love how these came out. Watercolor those birds on. See, they're so far from perfect, but I love them. I decorated this envelope. I made some little cards to journal on. And just doodled around it and like did faux stitching and I stamped some butterflies on. And I love how this came out. <clears throat> so watercolor like button doodle I made and it says grow. I thought that was perfect. This is, uh, again, from Seed Catalogs. I did this jelly print um, with Herb Garden and just used stenciled words. I did some stamping down here. I made a little belly band out of just some negative old, like, punched book page I had. Put some images of peppers in the background. And I made these little seed packets. Just from brown, brown recycled paper. And just wrote seeds on them and then made little pockets. Just a little flip up. Um, I just ruffled fabric here and glued it down. Washi tape, an image of some strawberries, some applique. This is like a washi swatch page. I did some journaling here. Um, again, I punched this uh, I, this is actually from the video I was doing of the um, easy specimen cards where I simply used paper punches and I had some extras left over so I backed the image with some um, the paper with some birds and stamped and watercolored the flower in and put some fabric down and some vellum die cuts and then used my watercolor doodle buttons and put some of my old jelly prints on and put a paper punch on top. This kind of looks like a martini, doesn't it? All right. 
fairy flip up fairy doors I love the interactive elements um, and I love surprising somebody by putting something there this is uh, a die cut um, these folders and I just put little tea cards in here this is a paperclip housing a little fold out and one of the specimen cards I made just some full on paper to write on this is in an embossed pocket and I took this pocket and I put a little bit of ink over it um, just the ink pad just like this to emphasize the embossing a little vellum uh, stapled with a piece of paper here as a page tab just made that using some die cuts this is my favorite watercolor doodle this cute little pink and purple bird <clears throat> Oh, this journal is jam-packed with stuff. This is a failed jelly print under here. I didn't like how this came out, so I just used it as a background to start something different. This is um, sentiments from some St. Patrick's Day cards I found. An image of a rainbow I had laying around. And I had some more left over from cards, so I cut those up. I made this watercolor rainbow. Um, I put some green glitter sequins over top. I have a little flower and mushroom and um, a, another floral bead for each signature. This is just a sewing page I was randomly inspired to do. Do you see the buttons, the thread? I took this from my die cut machine and I just cut out the shape of a blouse and a skirt. <clears throat> I made this little um, altered paper clip and this little journaling card there. And I just did some stamping and fussy cut these flowers out and back, back the name of the flowers with some washi tape and cut that out from a little golden book page. And I thought this, this is talking about the robin and I think I fussy cut out the robin onto like a watercolor layout that I had painted and this is the text that went with the robin. So I thought that was perfect like juxtaposed against each other. This is from my Sizzix die cut machine, more strawberries. I don't even know what this is, I just, I had these little file folders and I added some text to that, some stamping, a little tab, and um, this is also another die cut thing. And I thought, oh my gosh, like a fold out within a fold out. And I put a little fairy and some, an image of a butterfly and stuff in there. <clears throat> This is a little notebook I made. It's simply just a fold out. It is just a piece of paper and a watercolor button. And then I pushed a brad through and then put some cording around it just to act as a closure. And I love how that came out. So I need to make more of these. Oh, I love this. She's so pretty, isn't she? Very dust. This is embossed paper. More little flip ups. So this is like a random deconstructed collage page where they don't quite touch each other. Just a random smattering of pages and flip overs. A fold over. Jelly print, uh, jelly printed dragonflies with gentles just doodled over and a little piece of paper with some butterflies to kind of tie the two pages together. <clears throat> this is a little belly band I just made from 
two pieces of paper joined with a die cut. This is embossed aluminum foil. This is a, another jelly print with a stencil that I watercolor in. And I love how that turned out. Another little fabric cluster on the jelly print. And I just used one of my watercolor doodles as like a page tab with this little paper. Little page tab, again, jelly printed. Fairies, magical things. The negative of a paper punch out, the like little postal shaped ones. And I just backed each individual window with something different and made a little pocket for it. Nothing fancy. A little rose belly band. And I love this paper. So I just made a little notebook. I wanted to give myself some extra journaling room. This is the negative of the, um, of the butterfly die cut image I have. And I just glued the sides down to use a little pocket. And I love it because you can see exactly what is behind it. I know it's hard getting the paper back in. Okay. This is made from a card. I just folded the card over and made, I cut it up, just make a little pocket on the side and a little tuck spot on the side, put a bookmark in. Um, these are postcards I made from magazine images and I love how these came out. Guys, look in the magazines you have sitting around, you wouldn't believe how pretty. Um, and I think these are specifically from a seed catalog. And little flip ups, watercolor doodles. I kind of just leaned into the B theme because that's what the card was, obviously. This is a little scrappy notebook. I put a little flower in there, some music paper underneath it, and it's just some embossed paper as a pocket. And I took the front page of the book. I wanted this to be something really special. So I just took the front page and kept it as it in, in its entirety to use as a flip up. And I actually cut out the flowers, uh, these flowers from ribbon and pasted them on. So you can still embellish the pages and kind of keep them as, keep them sort of as the original pages and, um, you know not alter them too much and just spruce them up a little bit if that's what you're going for I just collaged some paper and took some white paint and just painted this and went around it with Stabilo pencil I took my paints and just smattered this it's like spattered like I can't talk today you know what I mean um, and just like splashed different colored paints all over and um, just put some sentiments here. I did some journaling. Some washi tape flip ups. I painted Mr. Bunny a background and fussy cut them, fussy cut him out of a little golden books page and actually just made him a little walkway. I love this layout. So I fussy cut out the bunny with the floral, um, the flowers next to him and this log that he's like kind of perched on. And I was like, but it kind of looks weird because it kind of looks like he's perched on nothing. Because when you glue it down, it's just, I don't know. So I was like, all right, I'll add some flowers, you know, in the foreground. Actually, I probably should have added a couple more. Maybe I'll do that. And then a butterfly, a stamp butterfly up top and a watercolor doodle flower and a mushroom and some stamp flowers and some digital images and then took the writing 
that I cut off the page initially and added it back in. More watercolors. Little watercolor notebook. Almost done here. Did a little bit of journaling about fairies and found some fairy images. Um, I put these in the pocket. These are from my Scentbird uh, subscription and I love these cards because they tell you like the floral notes and what the scent is and so but I wanted to give myself some writing room so I just uh, mod podged a doily on to kind of mute the text. Let me get that. Oh my gosh, you can tell how impatient I was making this journal. Okay. And same thing here. I just muted them, put some flowers on to cover these ugly barcodes. Um, some more little flower trim there and made little stamp tags for each of the scent cards. So again, just packaging and things that you come across in your everyday life. This flip up. I love the blue themes here. This just washi tape stamping, gelato stamping, watercolor doodle. This is one of the envelope windowed envelope pockets I made. And I just sewed down here. I did some gelato. This is gold gilding wax, made it into a pocket, did some stickling down there. I put the um, some pretty blue paper behind the windows and just glued it down so that we have two pockets. This is another one of the little mini journals I have been obsessed with. This is an old Ipsy bag. So I just cut up the fabric and used it as a pocket here. I did some more journaling and just cut out some um, pictures of veggies from seed catalogs. I actually put, um, I so I didn't know what to journal about on this page and had all this blank space. So I actually went on Google and found types of pink flowers and there was a list of like 50 different pink flowers. So I just took this picture of this flower, went around with pink watercolor and just listed pink flowers, the names. This is the little book plate digital I got um, that just put, I put my name, when this journal is from, March through May, how it was feeling, this collaged page. It's a whole lot going on here. Okay, things I'm looking forward to. And this was just like a wash or a uh, watercolor swatch page. I figure I was getting towards the end and I had some blank space and I thought, okay, well, while I was working on this journal, I did a lot of watercolor um, painting in here and I had just gotten, I got a new watercolor set a few months ago. So I figured I would do some swatches and there wasn't enough room to write the color. So what I did is just, I just numbered them and did this corresponding flip up and just put which all 50 of them and what the name of the shade is. Some of them are really interesting. Oh, I did some stamping down here. So you can see I still have a little bit more white space to work with, but I don't think I'll do any more decorating. I think this, this puppy is pretty full. If anything, I'm just going to do a little bit more journaling. And that's what I did on the last page here over a very light stenciled jelly print. And the last page appropriately says, and that was his home. So I really like um, for my journals to kind of be themed and to carry a story through from beginning to end, if that makes sense. And I really loved making this journal and I loved sharing this with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you found value in this, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I can't wait to see you the next time.